Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressa channel. I wanted to talk about the singer Nivea for a brief minute. If you don't know who Nivea is, she has hits like Don't Mess With My Man, Danger With Mystical, Laundry Mat, Okay, and of course she has her song Complicated, which is the title of her most popular album. Now Nivea is trying to come back on the music scene after being away for a while. She recently did an interview with BET and she gave a rundown of her career and she also opened up about her relationships with Lil Wayne and The Dream. Now what I found interesting about her career is she was supposed to be branded as the Black Britney Spears, but I never saw that with Nivea. I saw her as an R&B girl who had good music. Her talent was undeniable. It was really unfortunate that her label tossed her aside once she got married to the dream and had children. They basically told her that her image is too homely, no one will mess with her, therefore she's not marketable, which is so sad. And then they moved on to promote Sierra. So Sierra, in a way, kind of took her shine. Now Nivea, she decided to put her career on the back burner and just become a stay-at-home mom while the Dream's career took off. And that didn't mean that she didn't do any more music after that. She was independent and she did release a song with Rashida called Say Something. It was a remix to Drake and Timberland's song. Also, she released her own song, Love Hurts, featuring Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was actually a video vixen <laughs> and she was seeing him around that time. Time. As a matter of fact, she was actually seeing him before she even married the dream. She was engaged to Lil Wayne, but then they broke up and she moved on to marry the dream. And then she broke up with the dream and got back with Lil Wayne. So Nivea's love life has been quite complicated, but she does have children by both of these men. And she has a good relationship with her children's father. So there is no animosity there. She did open up about her relationships on the podcast show called The MMM Show. I was uh, with Wayne first and then I um, met Dream later. Uh -huh. We were married. Then after our divorce, I went back to Wayne and Kyle. How do you make them pop the question so fast? Because everybody, like, within I'm a year, wifey. You get, you I'm, get a wild, I'm a wild <laughs> chick. Like, or they said, right. you know, why did it, it come to an end? I said, honestly, we, we were very young. We didn't really know how to be married people. It was done. It was over. It was time to, you know, I was sad and, and, and just Did you, like, shocked. stop getting along? Is that oh, yeah, how kinda... we were fighting a lot, but it was a lot of other stuff too. Like the industry had like kind of shut us both of us down at one point. They were like, mm. "You trying to get pregnant and um, married? That's not what I want to you. And who are you, dude?" Mm -hmm. Then it switched. He wrote, you know, started getting more um, placements, and then umbrella happened. And mm -hmm. then I was at home with the kids, so I wasn't. It just happened to work. So I, I was like, I get it. It's not like I didn't know that he didn't want to do that with his life as well, mm -hmm. but. That was just one minor component. We were fighting about all kinds of shit because even not knowing having children and being pregnant with a child changes the woman and the man mm. drastically, mm -hmm. emotionally, mentally. So we were going through a change that neither one of us was aware we were going through. And hell yes, it got chaotic at times. Another more shocking thing I found about Nivea is she did have a drug problem. In fact, she opened up about it on the podcast and she revealed that she overcame a cocaine addiction. Now, I, I don't imagine that you're looking forward to experimenting with drugs like no, you were. No, I mean, well, I won't say, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I, I did everything late. I didn't smoke weed till 2010 after mm -hmm. I stopped breastfeeding Neil, my young son. Mm -hmm. I um, haven't done I, the pill thing, I can't do. I drink though, I like to drink. And I had to stop with that because brown liquor, I'm whiskey girl. Brown liquor got sugar in it, make you freaking fatter and I had to stop that but yeah I like to drink I smoke weed here and there mm -hmm. so I wouldn't say no so none of the heavier stuff though no 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 never any needles no crack no uh, yeah cause coke coke I've done crack coke. And, okay well uh, then that happened but no pills and, and that's it have you seen the meme going around that says when, you, when she pulls out coke instead of weed you're like oh baby girl you do drugs but see my, th my experience <laughs> with cocaine you was do drugs, not drugs. I didn't want to do drugs. that that wasn't something yeah. I felt public with like people want to go party yeah it's fuck it didn't do none of that for me mm -hmm. it was more of a mental um thing and well, I, I had an opposite reaction than most oh. people so what was the reaction? I wanted to be alone. It was a personal oh. job. I wanted to write, um, play Sudoku. Like, Jesus Christ, me what a boring cokehead. I'm, bo I'm so kind of boring anyway, though. A little, Anything I'm a little, no. No, no. I, I'm a little boring. Once um, My crazy is, is so regular, you'll get, you'll know. But yeah, rolling. 
And I had a, I had a drug issue at one point. Did not you? Not that long ago, actually. And uh, come put was, the what? Which one was it? Pills? Were I don't want to say. You don't. <laughs> not yet. Mental health issues is like it. Listen. Yeah, I come from an addictive family, and both my parents were on crack. Mm-hmm. And my mom got off, and my dad struggled with it over the years, and recently, over the past year, went to rehab. But it's thirty years of my life. All I'm saying is whatever so, you were on, struggle is real. whatever you were on is, you name it. whatever you were on is in your rear view now. So it's fine. Yeah, it it, is. Now is the kind of time to talk about it. as opposed to like, you know, asking Whitney Houston when she's in the middle of it and she's talking you about crack as well. Yeah, um, I was, uh, I was real caught up with the cocaine okay. situation. It was pretty bad. Pulled myself out of that shit though, which was not easy. In the midst though, I knew that that was something I was allowing to happen, which mm-hmm. was dangerous and reckless. Right. Well, but I knew that I was going to come out of it somehow. Yeah. Even though Sometimes it got tough, and I was like, damn, I might need to go get, I talked to Dream about it. I was like, uh, you know, I was about to just give the kids up, which I think helped me, because I, I'll die without them. Oh, mm. but yes, die. Mm. I can't live without all of them. I can't breathe with no child support. I don't give a f- I need them. Mm. Okay. For that air. Life. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't. All right, I'll see. So what happens when they hit 18 and move like, up? Oh, no, you don't. No, get the paper towels. Get the paper towels. Oh, she's tearing. I'm sorry. No, don't you don't you sorry for us. You get that paper towel and dab. Dab, dab. There, there you go. Like, I cannot see. No, no, no. You Why fine. It's a beautiful, so beautiful sentiment, baby. I'm so sorry. And you, and look, so at, my, look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. That's what it is. Look at my face. Look at my face. You won't have to. You won't have to. Guys over you and them children as we speak, you, you won't so have much. to. Everything's yeah. fine right now, right now. Yeah. Even now, being up here, I miss him so much because I haven't been away, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it ain't been but a week. <laughs> That was super touching. You know, I'm going to keep Nivea in my prayers. I'm just glad that she's back doing what she loves to do. And she does release her new song, Circles, this week. So stay tuned for that. Also, she's allegedly going to be on Lil Wayne's album, Carter 5, with Drake. So that should be cool for her as well. So look out for Nivea's new music. She's back and she's ready. So anyway, tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.